What's up? This is Fab and Franny, Franny from Random Recipe, and we're doing the AU review. Welcome to South by. Thank you. Thank you. Have you uh, have you played this event before? Yes, we have. Back in 2011, when our first album came out, we came here and had no idea really what this festival was about. We just kept on hearing how crazy it was, and then we got here, realized it was crazier. So this time we kind of come prepared more. Like I knew all the bands that I wanted to go check out. I was like. And you know where to buy good chicken, fried chicken. Like you're prepared. It's fine. Fried chicken, mac and cheese. You know, you've got to have your got to have priorities. Your priorities, right there. Yeah. <laughs> any any places you'd recommend for fried chicken? I'm always. Well, I was really impressed by this uh, chicken waffle uh, breakfast there, oh. where the waffles were stuffed with bacon, oh. and it was only four ninety nine, and it was honestly one of the best breakfasts I've had in my life. Called Frank's. It's called Frank's. Frank's. It is insane. Like hopefully we'll get a sponsor there and we can just get fat in that place. It's my <laughs> make the same song. Oh, I would oh my love God. that to make a jingle That's for amazing. that. Chicken and waffles, chicken and waffles. Franks, Franks, got it, got it. Chicken and waffles, chicken and waffles. Franks, Franks, got it. Yeah, that could be it's, cool. It's on. It's getting there. The yeah. band name sort of lends itself to being, you know, a jingle maker for for food. For I know. Food. <laughs> we almost call ourselves uh, Aunt Jemima, but it was already taken. So for the non-Australian people that understood that joke, because I don't think they have Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima is like this... The best syrup. No, it's like a company that also makes like pancake mixes. Yeah, yeah, it's true, you're right. Yeah, I, I, know, if we, I know it, but I don't know if we have it in Australia or not. Don't worry, well, you not should start out. on that. Either, either or, either or. Well, uh, South by Southwest, your second time here. As you said, you know, you know the ropes a little more, but even when you do, it's still <laughs> absolute well madness. Been, yeah. So how has it gone so far? How many shows are you doing? All that stuff. Uh, we're playing uh, two uh, official showcases, and we had a session where we played. It was kind of a jam with a bunch of other bands. Yeah. Uh, but two official showcases this year, which is good because it allows us to just go wild and see a bunch of shows. And we've got we got here maybe two days ago. Yep. And we already saw like I don't know almost 15 acts. It was yep. it's it's been wow. fun. So Crazy. tonight is our official showcase yeah. with. Um, a bunch of Montreal bands, uh, Foxtrot, Black Atlas, uh, La Claire Ensemble, uh, Lunis, just a lot of bands that we really do respect from Montreal, so we're happy to do that. And tomorrow's uh, with bands that really don't sound like us at all, which is also exciting because we like them. Also, Lee Fulbick and, yep. and uh, Jeff Barber, I think. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff going on, yeah. A lot of great music out of Montreal. Montreal yes. is killing it, killing it. It's like, it's, it's where it's going on. And it's at Maggie Mays tonight, so we can't forget. Fantastic. Well, hope to get to see you there. And you will be there. Oh, yeah. You will. You're kind of forced. Forced into it now. Yeah. I won't be your tour guide in Montreal if you don't come to our show today. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's a deal. That's a deal I'm willing to make. Let's talk about your music. Now, of course, South by Southwest comes in line with a new record. So uh, let's talk about that. The first time, I mean, the first time we came here was in 2011. That was after our first album, uh, Fold It Molded. And, uh, it was our first experience down here, and I mean, like like South by Southwest, the the, the showcases kind of come as a surprise. So you have some that are planned, some that are not, and it's always interesting to see what kind of setup you're going to be playing in with with what kind of groups uh, are they going to like? Franny was saying, are they going to like match up, and and is the energy going to go like from one group to another, and are you going to be able to make the energy of your one? Of your of your show, sorry, kind of come out like if you play acoustic or if you play uh, like our new album, Kill the Hook, is less acoustic. It's like more electronic keyboards, <clears throat> hip hop uh, as hip hop, but like uh, just just bigger with like bass lines and all that. We could kind of full setup. We could. We, it, it's 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 exciting for us to all of a sudden kind of look at other groups that we go see and we're just like oh like we could probably be playing in a showcase like this because like people are dancing people are kind of up and about and i think this uh this new uh, uh this new album that we have kill the hook is uh, is a little more uh not that it's more accessible but it does fit a little bit more in a uh maybe a little bit easier to describe the genre than the, than the first one right so i think even like the the other interviews that we did people were we kind of had uh, it was easier for us to be able to answer yeah we we actually do a mix of like hip hop and we have keyboard synthesizers that have the electro kind of style or whatever we still rap in english 
Spanish, Italian. But like what happened is the first album was a lot more acoustic and but our energy in person and also on stage was like full out crazy climbing on people sweating just going crazy and we kind of um, wanted to have music that kind of back that in a way so the next album we made sure to make a fuller sound so that it just it, when you get on stage it's just explosive so like I'm looking forward to just let all this energy out tonight then go wild so how are these songs then translating live it sounds it's like crazy. the energy is is, is in the song. Well, everything is played live. That is something yeah. that we didn't want to lose from the first album. We don't we don't want to play on a back uh, track like most hip hop or electronic music is done. We want to play everything live so it's more dynamic and organic and we can just like move around within the tracks on stage. So that is still there. But so how many people do you have on stage? We're five. So yeah, there's five. the three boys in the back that play most instruments and we also play a few instruments, steel drum, keyboards and stuff. And uh, then we're the two MCs in front. And the... Uh, we climb on people, we try, we dance, and we go wild. It's wild is the word. Chicks that go wild, like crazy. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Chicks no. go rowdy. I think the boys like that, too. The boys, I mean, you can't see them right now, but they're right there. They like it. They like it, I think. Yeah, they, they're kind of like the more like subtle dudes. <laughs> and, they, and they let us, us run around like they're little hyperactive sisters. They keep, they keep the grooves moving and then Young you sister. move the grooves. Exactly. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so it's what's the rest of the holding for you? You mentioned off camera that you'll be at Montreal Jazz Festival. We'll be seeing you there. Yeah, we have a bunch of festivals lining up for the for the summer and uh, even the spring and next fall. Uh, it's still not sure after that like if we're going to go back. Because we've toured, the first album toured a lot in Europe. And now we're just kind of evaluating what parts of the world we want to keep on focusing to develop. Because it's, it's, it's a lot of... You gotta think, you can't just go out and play. People are like, ah, come play in this city. I'm like, yeah, you, you gotta plan it. So we don't know exactly f for the fall where we'll be, but we're before gonna keep on doing we this album yeah. for two years for sure. So. Yeah. I mean, before we were here, we were in uh, New York. We were trying to slowly develop the East Coast of the US and maybe try to move towards the West Coast. Just in terms of the type of music that we listen to and the bands, the energy, this, that, we were like, oh, let's try to, let's try to, to discover different rounds right but uh i mean at the same time there's no place like home and you got to feed your home market and your home friends and your home people and where you and come from and kind of festivals back yeah home. so it's like when she was kind of really climbing up like crazy i mean we don't have a dude like drake to organize one but we do have killer killer uh lineups and like uh i mean we're we're it's 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 going on it's going on i'm proud i think we are proud to be montrealers yeah, Montreal has always been a festival city, so there's always a festival going on. So, even in the winter time, they close down the downtown to make stages for shows. Like there's shows year round, so it's a good city to be a musician in because you're constantly yeah. like solicited by a festival. So yeah. it's good for artists. There's cool. There's cool uh, showcases also in uh, in Toronto. There's the North by Northeast that we've done before. We'll probably right. be doing again in the CMW's Canadian Music Week. That's uh, quite quite cool too. And uh, yeah, Festivalité de Québec, like she was saying, the Jazz Fest. Uh, right, and then we'd the love crazy. To play in Australia, the, 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 yeah, like Australia. We're, we're getting there. We're coming. Like, I mean, I Australia mean, and like Canada were like this. It's true. So it's just a question of like getting a private jet People there. keep on saying Montreal is like Melbourne. So. We're trying to. We, I mean, we would have to play for like Delta Airlines or something and get free tickets. Virgin Australia. Virgin, Virgin Australia, dude, that would be crazy. And then just get free tickets, just travel buddy pass, and like, yeah. Dumb. Yeah. yeah so that's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> that's our plan. That's, yeah. Well, looking forward to seeing you tonight. Can't oh, wait right. to see you in Montreal later in the year. Yes. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to a, to a tour. Can I say hi to you. all the actors that once played in Heartbreak High? I, I grew up on that TV show. It's I wish I lived in Sydney just for that when I was a kid. <laughs> hi, all of you. And the surfer. Isn't he from there? You're a surfer guy. Oh, he's Kelly Stater, no. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Well, thank you so much for your time. And enjoy South Park. Thank, thank you. you. You too.